Okay, so today we're going to look at a crafty change that Microsoft has made to virtually every user running Windows 11, which could be quite dangerous to your system, especially if your machine is a production machine that is used in business or a machine that is just very, very important to you. This setting has been switched on. I would recommend switching it off. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, recently I've noticed this setting being switched on on many machines, which could cause many people many issues. This is limited, it seems to be, to Windows 11 machines. I've not seen it yet on Windows 10 machines, although it's not to say that it's not going to happen to those two in the future. But let's just check to see whether or not our machine has been affected by this particular dangerous change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the start button just down there in the bottom of the screen and then go up to settings just up there on the start menu. And then once we're in settings, we need to go to Windows Update just down there in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. And as you can see on mine, Underneath more options, you've got there, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes and improvements as they roll out. Learn more. Well, if I click on learn more, so it says here, Get Windows updates as soon as they're available for your device. We are committed to delivering continuous innovation by releasing new features and enhancements into Windows 11 more frequently. Windows devices get new functionality at different times as Microsoft delivers non-security updates, fixes, improvements and enhances enhancements via several servicing technologies, including controlled feature rollout, CFR. With this approach, updates may be gradually rolled out to devices. The good news is if you have Windows 11 version 22 H2 or later, you can choose to get the latest non-security and feature updates as soon as they become available for your device now and in the future. Well, it seems that a lot of people have maybe have been fooled into turning this on or the machine has turned them on automatically. Now, why wouldn't you want the latest features straight away? Well, unfortunately, Microsoft don't have a very good track record for certainly recently for releasing reliable updates. There's been quite a few updates that have come out that have caused many problems for many people. It stops certain things from working. It's broken apps. It's broken drivers. It's stopped, in some cases, even stopped the machine from booting up. So really, I would say to be on the safe side, don't turn this function on. Don't get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Let other people test the updates out first, because in the past, if Microsoft have found an update to cause problems on several people's machines, they have pulled it pretty quickly. But unfortunately, if you've got something like this turned on, there's more of a chance, so certainly if your machine's on during the day, that you're going to get this update before they pull it. And it you're obviously going to get or you could get problems too. So I would say make sure that is switched off. You really do want that switched off. Now, another thing you want to switch off while you're in here as well is if you go into advanced options, you really want to switch off if it's if it's been switched on like mine is get me up to date. Restart as soon as possible, even during active hours to finish updating and notify me 15 minutes before restarting so I can make sure this device is on and plugged in. Well, if you're using this machine, again during the day and say for instance you've popped out for lunch and the machine suddenly decides it wants to restart whilst you're out for lunch if the machine's been left on then it's going to notify you but the chances are you're at lunch you might not be near your machine so you might not see that notification so it doesn't give you chance to shut anything down on the screen. So if you've got a document, say half done on the screen open and if you've not saved it recently, 
Well, if the machine is forcibly restarted whilst you're away from it, then you could lose the changes. You could lose what you've done on the document. So what you really want to do is you want to turn off this get me up to date and let the machine restart outside of normal working hours. Now, how do you check what are your normal active working hours? So what you've got down here is you've got active hours. So at the moment, mine's currently set from nine in the morning till 10 p.m. at night. So it means the machine isn't going to try and do updates between those hours, or it's certainly not going to restart after doing updates. So it's say if you wanted to adjust these, you can click on that little downward arrow just next to the times there and it's got their adjust active hours you've got automatically if you click that arrow just to the right of automatically and go to manually there you can set the times that you normally start work on your machine and what time you end work on the machine so at the moment there it's saying i start work at eight in the morning and i finish at five in the evening. So that means that whilst the machine will download and perhaps install the updates during those times, it won't restart automatically. If you wanted to extend those hours, then you can do, you can choose the time that you want to extend it to. Obviously, you can't turn this off altogether on a standard Windows system. They do have to be set. I mean, I, I'm leaving mine on automatic because to be quite honest with you, it's given me quite a wide berth there to work on the machine without being in fear of it restarting from nine in the morning till 10 at night. That's 13 hours. But if you think to yourself, well, OK, I'm never at my sh machine any time after, say, six in the evening. You can go to manually there and you can change that to, say, 1800. Click on the tick. And there you go. So it says it's not going to restart the machine as a result of updates between 8 in the morning and 6 p.m. in the evening. So there you go. I hope you like this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you're unable to do that and want to have a look at my Amazon shop or looking for a VPN, Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, have a look down below in the description. We've got loads of great deals in the links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're on my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see anything whilst you're here that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out, on X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm at CWTEK. Or if you want to have a look at my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon.